Hey everyone, so today's tutorial is going to be something really quick. I wore it in a couple of my videos. It's really simple, it's easy. It's that duochrome eyeshadow that I wore from TKB. Two things to note. The first thing is that it is currently sold out at TKB, but I sent them an email and as soon as they let me know when it's going to be back in stock, I will put something on Twitter or put something on Facebook so that you guys know. The other thing is I did something a little bit different. I am going out tonight, so I wanted to make it like nighttime appropriate without going overboard. It's not, what I did was add the color to the bottom lash line as well. It's not anything difficult or impossible to do. I just wanted to note that there was a little bit of changes. I think everything else that I discussed in the video um, like highlights whether it's been a change from the look in the past or not. Oh, also, if you want to see how to organize TKB pigments, I talk about that in my TKB video, but I will also put a link to the blog where I got the idea. Uh, I think that that is it. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy. Let me know if you have any questions. Bye. First, I want to start with a flesh tone eyeshadow and apply that all over the eye area uh, from lash line to brow. And I'm using the Vanity Wet n Wild Color Icon Palette, and it's this flesh tone color right here. This is an Everyday Minerals uh, blending brush that I actually talked about once in um, one of my favorites videos. I'm going to take a little bit of the warm brown, the matte warm brown up here, and I'm going to blend that into the crease. Now, this is one of Marnie's favorite primers, and it's MAC Paint Pot and Soft Ochre, and I also saw it recommended on a blog that talks about the TKB pigments, and I'm just going to apply that with my finger. It's a yellow-based uh, primer, but you can definitely use Painterly, which is the warmer um, paint pot equivalent of this. I'm just going to apply this to just the eyelid. Then I'm going to use a brush. Any flat brush will do. I've used a concealer brush for this. I'm using a Dollar Elf brush and uh, I'm just going to use the side of it to kind of pat in the color. Here's my Chameleon Fine. It's just labeled with scotch tape. Um, and I'm just going to use right what's in the cap. There's plenty in there. And I'm going to dip my brush in there and swirl it around so it gets packed onto the brush. And then when I apply, I'm just going to pat the color on the lid. Two layers of this is kind of what gave me the color that I had on my eyes before. You could definitely get away with one layer. One layer is a little more sheer. Uh, two layers, I think, though, gives it the real impact of the effects of the color. Since we only apply the primer to the eyelid, uh, whatever we blend outside the area of the primer is going to be really easily blendable and something that we can actually smudge right with our fingers. It'll be easy to move. I didn't do this in the look that I was wearing, but I'm actually going to line the bottom lash line using a creamy liner. And I'm going to apply the Chameleon Fine right over it. The only reason I'm doing it dramatic is because I'm going out and I want it to be dramatic. I'm just going to use the same brush. You can just use the tip of it instead of using the side of it. Okay, now I'm ready to do my eyeliner, and I'm going to go ahead and wing it out and make it dramatic like I always like it. So because this is a nighttime look for me, I'm going to go ahead and go with a matte black eyeshadow. I'm using the one right here. This is from the Heidi Klum palette that um, Heidi Klum did for Victoria's Secret. It's no longer available, but any like rich dark black will work. Okay, last few steps, curl my eyelashes, apply mascara, and then my look is going to be completely done. So my look is done and all I used on my cheeks was the Guerlain Terracotta Bronzer Number no. 2 as blush. I absolutely love this bronzer. This is actually one that's running out. I have another one. And then I put a little bit of the Baked Matte Satin Blush in Hollywood and this is by Lorac or Lorac. And I put a little bit of this 
for some sheen so that my cheeks weren't so flat. On the lips, I have a Rimmel Natural Lip Liner, and then over that I have, I believe it's called Nude or Natural, it's the e.l.f. Conditioning Lip Balm. I'll put it below. Um, I hope that this tutorial helped, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!